Oh my gosh, it takes serious courage, a lot of confidence to start a song this way. That's already super impressive. Halo Lur, selamat jumpa kembali bersama channel Rafiko. Terima kasih telah mengklik video ini. Admin doakan semoga semua selalu dalam keadaan sehat dan diberikan kelancaran dalam menjalankan aktivitas sehari-hari. Amin. Kali ini, kita akan menonton reaksi dari tiga orang musisi dan guru vokal dunia saat memeriksa Putri Ariani Bohemian Rhapsody dari Queen. Tanpa berlama-lama lagi, mari kita mulai lur. Let's check this one out, Bohemian Rhapsody. I don't know where this is filmed, I don't know when this is recorded, so... It's from her own channel. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, it is. Okay, you know this, that I didn't. Thanks. That's why we are here with two together. Let's check it out, guys. Here we go. Anyway, the wind blows doesn't really matter to me. Anyway, the wind blows doesn't really matter to me. To me. Woo! It's so good. I like the piano with it too. I like the delay. Not not the delay, the reverb that is on the voice. You hear a bit of of room where she is singing. It's it's not like plain voice like we are talking right now. There's some kind of echoey. Just kill me. Put a gun against his head. Put my trick and now he's uh, vibe there too. So Very is she soft. blind? Yes. She is. Okay. Oh, you didn't know. Yeah. No? No, she no, she is blind. You can see like she's wiggling around with mm -hmm. her eyes like. And I'm I wasn't sure when I saw the first video, but it was pretty clear. Uh, like not only like you see her eyes like that, but there were some people supporting her too. And then yeah, she she actually said that she was blind too. A few things are playing into that. Number one, we have a lower tongue position in the back, which means a slightly lowered larynx, and we have a slightly downturned mouth position, so we're getting a richer tone. Mama, life had just begun. Mm, so soft. Versus if she were to lift the larynx, lift the tongue, smile and retract the lips, we would get a much brighter sound. What did you think was cute about that? Well, it's, it's calm. It was, yeah, it was different than the original and it reminded me of some live performances that I have seen from Freddie Mercury where he actually goes down in the melody. Opposed to um, the original where he goes up in that moment. So because of the way that she's shaping her vocal tract, this face after your larynx to your lips, we're getting this kind of warmer sound. If I'm not back again this time tomorrow, carry on, carry on. Oh, that's cute. Is it nothing? combination with the air that she's still letting through her vocal folds. She's utilizing a little bit of a wider vibrato here and a few moments of vocal fry. Uh. It's nice because she she stays kind of true to the original melody but still gives a spin to it that it's a bit different and a feeling a bit. It's a calm beginning nonetheless but you hear and feel that it's a bit different. In the, in the, lyrics. the lyrics and the emotions. Saint Shiva's down my spine, but it's aching all the time. Goodbye. Yeah, it is less different than that, but she still differentiates from the original. Mm -hmm. Just those little things, and and that's where maybe the average listener wouldn't exactly know why it is, but they would hear it is kind of different. Mm -hmm. Okay, so leave you all behind. Hind, the word naturally encourages that higher tongue position. Hind and face the truth. Saint Shiva down my spine, but it's aching all the time. Goodbye, everybody. I've got to go. 
Then we get a really small mouth position on truth, which gives us lots of space to resonate on the inside. Truth. So we get that rich quality. And there, like, the, the belt was really pretty crazy mm -hmm. and different. And then the but calm. how she ended, yeah, how yeah. she ended it was like suddenly. <sighs> more up tempo there's like just gotta get out just gotta get her out out of me dun, 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 dun. it's a really different in vibe this part specifically yes and then we get that like pharyngeal twang that kind of space at the back of your throat Ooh, I don't wanna die. Times wish I It takes serious courage, a lot of confidence to start a song this way. That's already super impressive. Yes, indeed. The thing is, guys, you gotta realize she's doing this blindly. So also like the piano playing, she doesn't see what she's doing. So everything is in this in, in sensing where she's at, where she's at on the keyboard. And also like when you just listen and not watch you just feel the emotion even sh even though she's not really able to use her eyes too much to give emotion she's able to still bring over the emotion through her voice Baby, just gotta get out just gotta get right out of here and mouth and expression there but when you just listen it really sounds like some kind of whitney houston kind of like quality and that's also one of her idols, uh, I've heard. And Listen is also a song. And Listen is also, <laughs> yeah. So Sorry. I noticed that she's competed in Indonesia's Got Talent when she was eight years old, where she performed the song Listen by Beyonce. That section, for some reason, reminds me of Ariana Grande. I think it might be the kind of like relaxed mouth with the runs. The... Nothing really matters. Nothing really matters to me. Wow. Penampilan Putri Ariani saat membawakan cover Bohemian Rhapsody dari Queen menjadi sorotan bagi tiga reaktor ini. Dua musisi lelaki merasakan getaran unik dari interpretasi Putri Ariani terhadap lagu legendaris ini. Sementara guru vokal wanita merasa sangat antusias melihat penampilan yang penuh potensi ini. Reaktor pertama, seorang musisi dengan pengalaman panjang, merasa seperti sedang mendengarkan kembali Bohemian Rhapsody dalam bentuk yang segar dan baru. Dia terkesan dengan kemampuan Putri Ariani dalam membawakan berbagai nuansa lagu ini, dari bagian yang lembut hingga bagian yang kuat. Suaranya yang khas dan interpretasinya yang mendalam berhasil membuatnya terpukau. Musisi lelaki kedua merasa bahwa Putri Ariani telah memberikan sentuhan kreatif pada Bohemian Rhapsody. Dia terkesan dengan bagaimana dia mampu menghadirkan penampilan yang tidak hanya menampilkan suara indah, tetapi juga emosi yang kuat. Mereka berpendapat bahwa Putri Ariani berhasil membawa lagu ini dengan begitu menghanyutkan. Guru vokal wanita, seorang ahli dalam bidangnya, merasa sangat senang melihat Putri Ariani tampil dengan Bohemian Rhapsody. Dia merasakan kemampuan vokal Putri Ariani yang luar biasa dan penuh potensi. Melihat bakat muda yang sedang berkembang dalam menghadapi tantangan lagu yang sulit seperti ini adalah sebuah kehormatan. Penampilan Putri Ariani membawakan Bohemian Rhapsody telah menggugah inspirasi dalam tiga reaktor ini. Musisi dan guru vokal merasa bahwa dia telah membawa lagu ini dengan ciri khasnya sendiri, sambil tetap menghormati keaslian lagu tersebut. Dengan bakatnya yang luar biasa dan dedikasinya dalam bermusik, mereka merasa yakin bahwa Putri Ariani memiliki masa depan yang cerah di belantika musik dunia. Itulah lur untuk reaksi Putri Ariani kali ini, sampai jumpa lagi di video-video lainnya bersama channel Rafiko, terima kasih telah menonton.